First of all, Switchboard is nothing more than just a pop-up form, where on this form you can actually put some items or links that you can link to other forms and reports. So when a user clicks on it, they can navigate right to it without having to sort through all the access objects here in the navigation pane. More to the point, you can actually limit what they have access to within the switchboards. You can actually put some of your forms within the switchboards or links to these forms and be able to hide or get rid of the navigation pane here. So that's all they have access to is what you put on the boards. So the first thing I want to do is to create my main switchboard and put a few links on there. To get started, I'm going to come up here and click on the Database Tools tab to the Database Tools group and click on the Switchboard Manager. Now if you get this little pop-up that says they can't find a switchboard manager, go ahead and say yes to create it. It opens it up and it gives us the first main board. Now you can add additional switchboards. So instead of just the main one, I'm going to go ahead and click new and let's have a reports and hit enter, a report switchboard, click new again. Let's do another one. Hit enter, a maintenance switchboard. In other words, I want to be able to organize my boards. So I have the main one when the user first opens up Access, and it's going to have just a few links, and one of the links will be to my Reports board. And on that Reports board will be all the links to the reports that I want them to have access to. In other words, I don't want to junk up my main board with all the reports, all the forms, things like that. In fact, I could create maybe a customer switchboard, which will have reports for all the customers. Maybe an employee switchboard, which will have um, reports for all the employees or forms. So go ahead and be a little creative and organize it. Don't dump it all on your main switchboard here. So once I have a couple of switchboards for the demonstration purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and select the main one and click Edit. And this is where I go to add new items or links to either other switchboards or other forms and reports. Okay. So click New. And it says, go ahead and give us the name of the report or switchboard or other form you want to be able to open up. And the one I want will be Customer Info Form. In fact, you can see it right here over in the navigation pane. And it says, what's the command? Click on the drop-down arrow. Again, you can only go to basically forms, switchboards, reports, and macros, but no tables or queries. So I want to go to the Customer Info Form, and I want to do it in Add Mode. You also have Edit. Add mode means that it'll open up as a new blank record so I can add a new customer. If I put it in edit mode, then any customers I have within the database, they'll all show all 20 or 30 or 50 records. And then I can just scroll around and edit one of the customers. But this is for adding new customers. Now what form do I want to open up in the add mode? Click on the drop down arrow. Again, it's going to be the customer info form. Click OK. There's my first link or my first item. I want to add three more. Click new. Now remember, I have two other switchboards. I have my main one, and I need to be able to put on the main switchboard links to those two other switchboards, the reports and the maintenance. So I'm going to go ahead and type in. Now, in previous versions of Access, you were able to put an ampersand sign before one of the letters here. What that means is that whatever letter it's next to or behind the ampersand sign, it'll actually put an underline underneath it and convert that letter into a shortcut key, like the letter R here. So in the other view, instead of clicking on the link, I can actually hold down the Alt key and hit the letter R, and that would be a shortcut, just as good as if I clicked on the link. But it doesn't work in Access 2007, for whatever reason. Hopefully they can fix that, but right now I haven't found a fix. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the ampersand sign. Okay, I want to go to a switchboard, and it's going to be the Report Switchboard, so I can click on the drop-down arrow, and there it is right there. Click OK. I also need to go to the Maintenance Switchboard, so we'll call this the Maintain tables, click on the drop down arrow, there's the maintenance switchboard, click OK. And then finally let's do one more. We'll say close. Close the application. So we'll click on the drop down arrow for the command and say exit. What this will do is when somebody clicks on this link, it'll actually close the whole application, access the database, everything. Click OK. So now we set up these four links for the main board. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close out of there. Need to set up links for the reports board at the very least select it and click on the edit button click on new and the first one I'm going to add is category sales in other words let me click on the drop down arrow and select open the report which report is going to be the categories quarter one sales report click OK so it adds that link let me click new I want to add another one this one's going to be the final report click on the drop down arrow open the report what report it's going to be the final report for quarter one click OK 
Now for the last link I want it to go back to the main board because what would happen if I come in and open up the main board and click on the reports link and I come to the reports board but I can't get back to the main board I'm stuck so let's go ahead and click new back to main will be the title of that link and it's going to go to the switchboard and it's going to be the main click OK and I'm done for reports close out now like I said I can add as many as I want but for the purpose of the video here I want to keep it short so you've got enough to get the gist of what you need to do finally the maintenance switchboard select it click on edit and let's add our first item click new and let's open up the form categories down below here you can see it right there in edit so we're not going to add new categories we're just opening up that form when somebody clicks on the link in edit mode so we can edit what categories we already have so edit and then click on the command arrow open up the form in edit mode what form again it's going to be the categories click OK now just like the reports once they come to the maintenance from the main board we need a link to go back to the main board so click on new and we'll say back to main and then there's the switchboard it's going to be the main board click OK I'm done click close I'm done with all the switchboards here click close and let's take it for a test drive now so down in the forms after you created your main board there it is right there you're only going to see the main board here you're not going to have the other two boards here the reports and the maintenance just the main board so double click open it up now it's not going to look pretty I know we need to make some changes so it doesn't fit the whole screen maybe just a little pop up here and we can change um, you know the text here to what we want it to be and then also the icon those will be the next training videos but I just want to make sure that my links work so if I go to the customer information click on that it opens up the form here and it opened it up in add mode so I can add a new customer see it's a new blank record looks good close out How about run reports it should take me to the report switchboard there it is excellent now I can go ahead and click on the final report it'll open up that report good close out now I'm not stuck because I have my back to main switchboard click on that and it goes back to the main board Then the maintain tables edit the categories opens up the category form close out and then back to the main switchboard cool and then finally close the application it closed out of the database here and not the complete program thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel get notified of the latest videos and for only two dollars a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos